This is the site of the laboratory where you grew up, isn't it? Maybe you can remember something about your family. I... I can't. I have lots of memories of Tipo, but nothing else. Looks like this was a big fat waste of time. Well, I certainly wouldn't say that. I love the way the wind feels here when it's blowing through my beard. Wait, didn't Rowan's beard remind you of your father? Hey, maybe that means your dad had a beard too. Do you remember what it was like? He gave Elise a piggyback ride here. That's right. I remember his beard swinging in the wind. He was really big. And he had a hat with lots of feathers and a big fluffy coat. Are you sure that's not Zhao? Uh, you're right. The man with the beard wasn't my father. It was Zhao. He put me up on his shoulders and told me the truth. That my mother and father had gone off somewhere very far away. He apologized over and over as he told me. But I didn't understand why. I just remember watching as his tears fell into his beard. Hey, it's okay. You can stop. I don't remember anything about my mother or father at all. I'm sorry. I thought you'd be happy if you could remember more of your past. I should have realized some memories should just stay forgotten. I'm so sorry, Elise. Ah, there you are. Some friends of mine said they saw you down here. I've been looking for you. What is it? I have a message from Isla. She remembered where Elise is from. There's a place just through a cave in the Mon Highlands. Isla says the house where you were born is there. So Isla is all better? No. It's just something she said during her delirium. She says the same things over and over. Then you've learned of her past. I know she can never make amends for what she did. But do you think you can forgive her? All she can do at this point is apologize. Your forgiveness would mean a lot. Elise, please tell Isla that I said thank you. I certainly will. Okay, let's go. I want to see the place where I was born. Come on! 
This should be the place Jurgen told us about. But I don't see a house anywhere. It's been ten years. It could easily have fallen apart by now. Let's try looking around a little bit more. No. This is it. This is where my house used to be. You sure? Elise's flowers! These were in our garden. So your house really was here. It's okay. Thank you, everyone. I feel a lot better now. Tipo, you said these were Elise's flowers? That's what they called them. Couldn't tell you why, though. Jude, what are these flowers really called? Are they native to this area? They look like princessias. Normally, you don't see them in a place like this. Her parents must have planted them back when they still lived here. And don't all flowers have some hidden meaning behind them? Yeah. I can't really help you with these, though. They mean priceless treasure and a long and happy life. This may be a stretch, but these flowers may represent what your parents thought of you, Elise. At least, that's what I'd like to believe. Mother. Father. I'm impressed that you put that together. You shouldn't be. After all, you were the ones who taught me what it means to be human. Tidal Wave! Tidal Wave! 